Jesus Christ, the light of the world, light of darkness and overcome. Stay with us, Lord, for this is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and enrobe in your church. Joyous light of heavenly glory, loving love of God's own faith, you who sing creation story, shine on every land and race. Now as evening falls around us, we shall raise our song to you. God of daybreak, God of shadow, come and light our hearts anew. In the stars that grace the darkness, in the blazing sun of dawn, in the light of peace and wisdom, we can hear your quiet song. Love that fills the night with wonder, love that holds the weary soul, love that bursts our chains asunder, set us free and make us whole. You who made the heavens splendor, every dancing star of night, make us shine with gentle justice. Let us each reflect your light. Mighty God of all creation, gentle Christ who lights our way, love and spirit of salvation, lead us on to endless day. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning you called light into being, and you set light in the sky to cover night and day. In a pillar of cloud by day, in a pillar of fire by night, you led your people into freedom. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May your word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. For you are merciful and you love your whole creation. And with all your creatures we give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. O Lord, I call to you, come to me quickly. Hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Set a watch before my mouth, O Lord, and guard the door of my lips. Let not my heart incline to any evil thing. Let me not be occupied in wickedness with evil doers, but my eyes are turned to you, Lord God, in you I take refuge. Strip me not of my life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice.
Let the incense of our repentant prayer ascend before you, O God, and let your loving kindness descend upon us, that with purified hearts we may sing your praises with the church on earth and the whole heavenly host, and may glorify you forever and ever. Amen. Psalm 94. O Lord, avenging God, O God of vengeance, show yourself. Rise up, O judge of the world, give to the arrogant their just deserts. How long shall the wicked avoid? How long shall the wicked triumph? They bluster in their insolence. All evildoers are full of false deeds. They crush your people, O Lord, and afflict your very home. They kill the widow and the stranger, and put the orphans to death. And they say the Lord does not see, the God of Jacob takes no notice. Consider well, you most brutish people, you fools, when will you be wise? Does the one who planted the ear not hear? Does the one who formed the eye not see? Does the one who disciplines the nations not punish? Does the one who teaches all humankind lack knowledge? The Lord knows our human thoughts. How like a puff of wind they are. Happy are they whom you discipline, O Lord, those whom you teach from your home. You give them rest in evil days, until a pit is dug for the wicked. For you will not abandon your people, nor will you forsake your very home. For judgment will again be just, and all the upright of heart will follow it. Who will rise up for me against the wicked? Who will take a stand for me against the evildoers? If the Lord had not been my help, I should soon have dwelt in the land of silence. As often as I said, my foot has slipped, your steadfast love, O oh Lord, upheld me. When anxious thoughts fill my mind, your consolations cheer my soul. Can a seat of injustice be allied with you, one which frames evil into law? They conspire against the life of the righteous, and condemn the innocent to death. But the Lord has become my stronghold. My God is my rock of refuge. Who will turn back their wickedness against them and destroy them in their own sin? The Lord our God will destroy them. Almighty God, do not abandon your people but defend us from the power of the enemy. Grant that those who suffer for the sake of justice may find consolation in the cross of Christ and be filled with your peace now and always, through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Psalm 8. O Lord, O Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You whose glory is chanted above the heavens, out of the mouths of infants and children. You have set up a fortress against your enemies to silence the foe and avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars you have set in their courses. 
What harm, you mortals, that you should be mindful of them? Human beings, that you should care for them. Yet you have made them little less than divine. With glory and honor you crown them. You have made them rule over the works of your hands. You have put all things under their feet. All flocks and cattle. Even the wild beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatever passes along the paths of the sea. O oh, Lord, my Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. God of majesty, amid the grandeur of your creation, you sought us out. And by the coming of your Son, who adorned us with glory and honor, giving us dominion over all your works. Enable us so to care for the earth that all creation may radiate the splendor of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man called Matthew sitting at the tax booth, and he said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. And as he sat at dinner in the house, Many tax collectors and sinners came and were sitting with him and his disciples. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? But when he heard this, he said, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. Go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. For I have come to call not the righteous, but sinners. While he was saying these things to them, suddenly a leader of the synagogue came in and knelt before him, saying, My daughter has just died, but come and lay your hand on her and she will live. And Jesus got up and followed him with his disciples. Then suddenly a woman, who had been suffering from hemorrhages for twelve years, came up behind him and touched the fringe of his cloak, for she said to herself, if I only touch his cloak, I will be made well. Jesus turned, and seeing her, he said, Take heart, daughter. Your faith has made you well. And instantly the woman was made well. When Jesus came to the leader's house and saw the flute players and the crowd making a commotion, he said, Go away, for the girl is not dead, but sleeping. And they laughed at him. But when the crowd had been put aside, he went in and took her by the hand, and the girl got up, and the report of this spread throughout that district. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ.
for all Christians throughout the world, for all those who care for the sick and the dying, for those who will die today and those who mourn. Let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Giving thanks for all who have gone before us in our address, rejoicing in the communion of Seattle and Rosemary, Shirley, Gail, Vernon, and Janet, and all the saints. We commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to you, through Christ our Lord, to you. Almighty Creator and ever living God, we worship your glory, eternal three in one, and we praise your power, majestic one in three. Keep us steadfast in this faith, defend us in all adversity, and bring us at last into your presence, where you live in endless joy and love, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously protected us today. We ask you to forgive us all our sins where we have done wrong, and graciously to protect us tonight. Into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us, so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. Gathered into one God of all his spirit. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, Keep our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. And the peace of Christ be with you always. Thank you for joining me for Vespers this Sunday. Feast of the Holy Trinity. I'm Pastor Gary. I pastor this place and this people, Atonement Church, a Lutheran tradition church in Asbury Park, New Jersey. If you'd like to know more about us or how to support us, you can find that information in the description below. I also enjoin you in this time to commit to anti-racism work with all the church throughout the North American continent. May God bless and keep you this night and always. Until we meet again. Until we pray again, peace be with you.